Hi there, I'm Roxana, I'm Romanian and uh, I've decided two years ago to experience Egyptian life. So I think it's uh, useful to share some uh, insights with you, especially with uh, those that want to uh, come to Egypt not as tourists because uh, yeah, as a tourist you have everything arranged, you have uh, uh, a guide that uh, will be at your disposal and introduce you into the culture. But what if you want to stay here longer and to taste the uh, direct real life of Egypt? You should be prepared for that. So here I am to share some uh, points with you. The first thing that uh, you should be happy to hear about is that the Egyptian people love the foreigner. So, they are so friendly, so enthusiastic when they uh, see you as a foreigner. Not to mention that if you are lucky to be American, then jackpot for you, they adore the American culture. Maybe because from the movie they have access to American movies, but it's interesting that mm, more, many of them have a secret dream. They all want to have the chance to travel to America, even if they don't speak English. So, you come here, you have the privilege to be a foreigner and uh, to be treated like a VIP, important person. What next? Well, you want to make yourself look comfortable here and to be able to speak their language. So, you can uh, study uh, Arabic for the books and you come here and you have a surprise. They will look at you like, huh? What are you talking about? Question mark. What? Isn't my Arabic good enough? Well, it is your Arabic good enough, but uh, you have to know that there is uh, the uh, Arabic language, the standard language, and the Arabic spoken language, which is the uh, spoken Egyptian language. And if you uh, want to be part and sound natural, then uh, do something good for you and uh, search for an uh, Egyptian tutor to help you learn the spoken Egyptian language. Another thing is um, uh, you come here and uh, people start to be friendly with you, but is there a limit between being friendly and being intruder? Well, for them it is not. They are so happy to see you that they start to put so many questions and then you feel like, okay, but this is my personal life. <laughs> what are you doing? I, I don't even know you. So if you are uncomfortable with their questions, don't think they are rude. They are just curious and they are so happy to have the opportunity to have a direct contact with the foreigner. So just think, okay, this is private. I don't feel comfortable to answer these questions. So let's keep it, keep the distance, okay? Okay, they will not uh, be upset and you are protected. You feel safe. Now, you come here, you would like to sh do some shopping. We all need to go shopping, right, for our existence. We don't talk now about the mold, the big hypers, because here uh, it's easy for you to use English. But what if you uh, need to go downstairs and buy something from a local shop, uh, you want to go in a market? Well, there you have to use your uh, uh, Arabic skills. Don't uh, forget about it. Arabic spoken English and they don't have the product you are looking for. They will never tell you we don't have it. They'll say Helset Tiki Bukra. That means it's finished, come tomorrow. And as me, you'll come the next day and expect to find the product you are looking for. But surprise! No, you won't find it because for them to come tomorrow it actually means come another time. So that means maybe after one week, after one month, or maybe they will never bring it. So if they tell you come tomorrow, tell Bukra, try to look for another shops for your product or think about something to replace it. So these are the things that uh, I want to share with you for this part, but there will be an other parts because I don't want to make it too long. So let's wrap uh, up the information. You'll have the privilege to be treated like a VIP. Now you have to know the Egyptian uh, spoken language. Uh, if you are uncomfortable with their curiosity in uh, asking so many questions, just tell them it's enough, let's keep the distance. 
And the last one, you know, when you go for shopping, if you don't find your product and they tell you to come tomorrow, so take it as we don't have it, we don't think we'll have it soon. Okay? Hope things are useful for you and I can't wait to share you other things that might be helpful when you decide to come here to Egypt. Have a lovely day!